to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit of a story time, right? It's kind of a story time. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to address it or whatever the case is, but I figured today I could kind of get into what got me personally into collecting, what got me into collecting WWE action figures or just figures in general, and you know, that whole entire journey there, and just kind of like a story time real quick or, or however long, but I want to know down in the comment section below, you can first of all, give me your thoughts on my story or what you think there, maybe any additional questions, and then you can let me know how maybe you got started collecting down in the comment section below or why you collect or all, all of those different things, man. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I'll break down the story. I'll break down everything and then maybe give you an addition on why I collect maybe or maybe that'll be intertwined into the story. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and dive into it. So of course, you know, everybody kind of gains consciousness around the age of three or four, maybe, maybe even five for some people. Some people earlier, some people later. But I would say my earliest memories of collecting or just, you know, talking talking about toy like you say collecting as a kid you're not collecting right you're trying to have fun you're trying to get your favorite guys and have sick matches and all these crazy things I, I like I don't think as a kid you don't you don't say oh I gotta have this just to keep in the box and sit up on the shelf or at least that's how it was for me man I wasn't thinking about keeping nothing in the box I always thought of mock collecting being a adult thing for some reason I knew adults did that but I didn't think of kids doing that but anyways diving it back you know I've always loved wrestling I've always loved you know Dragon Ball Z and, and these other things. Like, I've, I've just always loved, you know, different cartoons and shows and stuff, but wrestling is something that I've always loved. Sports is something I've always loved. So, when I was growing up, around four or five years old, I remember getting my early figures. I used to have the Bone Crunchers. I used to get, you know, the Titan Tron Live figures. Uh, and then, you know, you, you move on into the classic superstars and the Ruthless Aggression and the even into the Deluxes. So, I, you know, that's about where my figure journey started right in there. I used to go to garage sales and get Bone Crunchers and older Jax figures, or 3s all, the, all those different figures, man. That was me. I had the, I got the Titan Trons. I had the SmackDown entrance set. I had the real live Titan Tron where you scan the feet there. I always loved all that gimmicks. I had different rings and all these things. My earliest like big memory, I've said this multiple times on the channel, I think, but my favorite Christmas ever, or my favorite Christmas gift I've ever received is the, I think it's a Toys R Us exclusive like TLC tag team playset. And it came with Edge and Christian, the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, tables, ladders, chairs. And I want to say, came with a ring and a kids version of the tag team championship. I'll pull up an image of it. Greatest thing I've ever received. I got it from my aunts who are actually twins who live in Texas. It's my dad's sisters. It was the it was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's my earliest memory of just loving toys and collecting and stuff like that. Like I had figures and I got other, I think I even got like that three pack with Lita in that same Christmas. I got some other Jax figures and stuff like that. But the, that is like the earliest memory of getting that like, you know, that boost of adrenaline or dope dopamine or whatever the hell it's called where you know you get something and you're just in awe of it and I'm still looking for that mock if anybody owns that set mock please hit me up I will I will I will I want to make a deal man I want to make a deal for that thing but over the years after that I would collect here and there I wasn't like hardcore collecting right I wasn't I didn't know all the series like back in the day you know back in the day we didn't know all the sets there wasn't like leaks and all these different things when I was growing up as a kid you know maybe like when I turned like 9 10 is maybe when there were more forums and more things leaked out on the internet and stuff, but I wasn't like that, man. Like, when I was 10 or 11, that's when I first started getting onto the internet and, like, you know, getting on WWE Shop and playing games and YouTube and stuff like that. Like, YouTube had just came out, I think, in 2005 and I was about 9 or 10. I was around 9 years old, I think, when YouTube came out. So there's there's all these different things, but I didn't know all the sets. I didn't know all the sets. I did not know who was coming out. I would just go to the store and boom, there's a guy I love. There's a guy I like. Growing up as a kid, my favorite wrestlers were Chris Jericho, Kurt Angle, and Chris Benoit. And then when John Cena debuted and then Randy Orton started his ascendance, Randy Orton kind of later because, you know, like as a part of Evolution, when he got kicked out of Evolution, I thought like, dude, that is like, I love that whole story. I know they dropped the ball a little bit, but that's kind of where I loved Randy Orton's ascendance there and then on into his main character there. I used to think Edge was the biggest dickhead in the world. He made me cry on multiple occasions, but I literally got to witness John Cena as this no name on his debut at, I want to say I was six. And I remember being like, who is this goofball? And then just the slow transition, and I fell in love with him and the gimmick and everything like that, and he got better and better, and then I'm a, I'm a chain gang soldier for life. So I would collect these figures. I would collect the figures of the guys I liked. I would book my own matches, have these crazy matches and all these different things I think every kid, you know, can enjoy in that. And then when I got a little bit older, I got into about, when I started turning like 12, 13, 14, my, my focus and my shift kind of got away from wrestling. It got away from like figures or toys and, or, and all those different things. Like I collected Marvel Legends. 
Legends. I collected Dragon Ball Z figures. I collected all kinds of stuff, man. Me and my brother were huge Dragon Ball Z fans. I used to go and get Marvel Legends figures. I even had a Yu-Gi-Oh collection and Pokemon figures and stuff like that. I used to love those card games back in the day. Still love Yu-Gi-Oh today. I, I would sit down. I could sit down and duel you right now. You'd probably blow me out if you're a current Yu-Gi-Oh player because I cannot stand where the game has really gone. But back in the day, I love it. I still love it. Like it's a great nostalgia pop for me. I still have a, a built deck in the closet over here. So yeah, man. I mean that like these are some of the things that I loved and I grew up watching. I've always been like two sides of the coin, if you will, where I had my sports loving side and I had my more pop culture and my more my wrestling and and Marvel and all these different things. But I loved these things. And I know a lot of people think that those worlds just can't mix together for whatever reason, right? Like people think, oh, you're a nerd. You can't you can't love those things and like sports as well. Dumbest shit I've ever heard. But so that's where kind of my focus shifted, right? Because I still enjoyed those things. It's just, it wasn't my main focus. I was mainly focused on basketball, football, playing sports, getting better at those sports, and just trying to enjoy the experience of those sports, you know, and just trying to get better because I've always loved the game. I've always loved football and basketball, so that's what I wanted to put my time into. So I didn't really, I didn't really collect. I still have some of my old collection, but I really, I think my mom ended up getting rid of a ton of that stuff. I know we had some flood damage as well that got rid of a lot of stuff, which is very disappointing. However, my sports career actually took me into college where in my going into my sophomore year, I actually fractured two vertebrae in my back. And when I fractured my vertebrae, I could not lift right in the rebuild in the, you know, I had to take medication. I had to be off my feet. I had to lay around. It was very exhausting. I gained a lot of weight, couldn't play basketball. I couldn't play football, couldn't run around. So I couldn't run around. I couldn't lift. I couldn't shoot. I couldn't play the sports that I love. Right. So after that, that's when I kind of got back hardcore into collecting, got hardcore back into wrestling and these things. Like, again, I always tried to keep up with wrestling. I've always loved wrestling. I always loved these things. But that's when, again, my focus shift shifted, right? My focus shifted back because I can't put as much time into sports anymore because I'm not out doing those things, you know, running around, working out like I was, playing the sports that I love and stuff like that. So my focus shifted back into, you know, what's uh, what's going on now with figures and wrestling and, you know, try to get back hardcore into it. Like, I had never considered getting into WWE and Mattel's line of figures. Like, I didn't really look too much into it. So when I started to kind of build a collection, I got hardcore into the Dragon Ball Z SH figures. I still have a couple, but I used to be hardcore into those as much as I am into wrestling. And so I think I do want to get a few figures of, of some guys I love. So I started getting some guys I love of the WWE Mattel figures. The first WWE Mattel figure that I ever got actually was the first Defining Moments John Cena because I loved that, right? I was like, dude, this is so sick. It's beautiful. It even has the jersey. Not completely accurate. I still, you know, expounded upon that, but I had to get that figure. I thought that was an insane figure. So I got that. And then slowly but surely, I started collecting more WWE figures and more WWE figures. And then I started looking online at different things and found, you know, different collectors in all all areas. So, Shardimus Prime, and this is when, you know, Wad Figs and Undisputed Brotherhood and Grimm's Toy Show and all these different people that I would watch, and I was like, damn, dude, this is really cool how they make the videos and stuff. But I have an opinion on wrestling. I have an opinion on these figures and all these things. So, I was like, screw it. Why don't I make my own channel? And here I am. I blink, and now I have 105 John Cena's and 70, 80 Seth Rollins. So, that's kind of where the story went. As to why I collect, I know that was kind of like how I my collector's journey kind of developed, but why do I collect? I really couldn't answer that. I think it's it's kind of like shoes and sneakers. I'm also a shoe slash sneaker collector a little bit. I'm a sneaker head, so it kind of like brings you back to those memories, right? Like when you look at a figure and it is a... I've done a whole video on this. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check it out, but I think it's kind of like a figure. It's like a moment in time that you remember from things you love, kind of. So it's kind of like looking at a photograph a little bit where you look at that figure. So I take, I take a moment of John Cena. Say I have a custom moment of John Cena. Perfect example. So right here, I have the second Ultimate Edition John Cena. When I look at this John Cena, I'm reminded of my childhood when John Cena looked like this and I'm a chain gang soldier for life, right? Like, it brings me back to him getting cashed in on. It brings me back to the Royal Rumble where he defeated Edge. It brings me back to all those memories as a kid and that's the same thing. No matter where you are in time, when you look at those figures, that's the memories I think that it triggers. So that's why people who are 
older collect the Hulk Hogan's and the Ultimate Warriors, and Mattel knows that. So when they release these Ultimate Warriors and these Hulk Hogan's, they know that there's a market out there that loves nostalgia. They love that, you know, that boost of adrenaline. It brings you back to happier times, maybe. Maybe you're having a, you know, a rough time nowadays, or maybe, you know, these different things for different reasons, but I think that's why I collect. It's just, you know, it makes me happy. It brings memories back. It's like looking at different photographs. This is like a bunch of different photographs, and it's really cool. Also, it's kind of like a goal-oriented deal where, you know, you're trying to accomplish a goal in your collection, like my thing with John Cena. I don't know. It's a it's a fun collecting goal. It's a hobby, man. It, it keeps me busy. It's something that brings me joy, so why not engage in it, you know? Don't break the bank, but, you know, it's there. But I don't know. I feel like this video rambled a little bit, but I wanted to get on here and explain it anyway, you know? I just wanted to get on here, talk about it with you guys, see where you guys are at, and I don't even know how long the video went, but I don't even think I'm done yet. But I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think of mine. Do you agree with mine? Why do you collect? How'd your journey go? I just wanted to get into it a little bit, and if you have that freaking TLC Toys R Us exclusive set, please, God, give it to me. Just kidding, but I'll make a deal. But anyways, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up my video, I think, but I wouldn't have this channel without you guys, so I appreciate you so very much. All 304,000 subs, all the people that have viewed a video or commented or liked or just they follow me on Instagram or whatever the case is, man, I appreciate all of you, every single, every single individual one of you. I'm a very blessed individual. All glory goes to God himself, and I appreciate you guys for, for checking out the videos and loving the videos and being entertained, but I want to know what you guys think of the collecting down in the comment section below. Why do you collect? How'd you start collecting? All those things, man, let me know down in the comment section, but this is more of an MDT story time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more story times, let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you for watching, and uh, it's Chain Gang for Life over here, baby. You can't see us. And if you can... You cross the line, I've been...